Team number 34, have a look at what your competition is using. And uh, I'm not saying that you should uh, copy designs of the other people or the other companies, okay? No, please don't do it. But you still need to be aware what uh, what are the existing similar solutions to the board what you are designing. It can be helpful uh, from different for different kind of reasons. One of the reasons why you would like to know what already exists, what uh, kind of boards or what kind of chips your competition is using is because you would like to stay compatible. Yeah, you would like to use same or similar chips. You would like to use same connectors. You would like to use same pinout. So your board is software and hardware compatible with something what exists. It may look or it may sound uh, not fair, yeah, but many companies, they do it this way. They design same or similar board just to sell it cheaper than existing solution. Yeah, that's how it is. I can't do much about this. What can also help you is, uh, you know, some of these companies, they need to go through really complex uh, decision making process, which, uh, which uh, for example, starts with selecting a number of different chips and comparing the parameters of the chips and then deciding for the one which they use in the final product. So sometimes if you have a look what your competition is using, you may uh, eliminate this kind of uh, solution or this kind of <laughs> this kind of decision because they already uh, were looking on the other solutions and they decided this is the best one from all the others. It doesn't have to be always right. Okay, not all companies have this uh, decision making process. But the big companies or some good companies, they do have, uh, they do go through selection of the right product. Most companies, they don't want to design something what is not going to, you know, be the best on the market. So they select the right chip, the right solution for the product. Also, what uh, is helpful so we have the software compatibility, we have the hardware compatibility, we have the uh, saving time with the decision making. And the other thing, uh, what, uh, why I have a look on the existing boards is uh, I would like to see what the chips work together. Sometimes happen that if I'm designing a processor board, you have the processor and you have some peripherals. And sometimes may happen that you have peripheral chip with the processor connected with the same interface, but they just don't work together. They don't communicate together correctly because I don't know, one of the chips is uh, not following specification of the protocol or specification of the interface. Yeah, it happened to me. I know exactly what I mean. So very often I have a look also on the particular chips which they use on the board. And there is, there is then quite pretty high chance that if you use these chips together, they will work together. Okay. If you go for completely new or different chip, you go into a little bit higher risk that something may be wrong and you may need to design new version of the board. But sometimes you have to, okay, if you are designing uh, the cutting edge technology board, you need to go into these unknown things. If you, if you are designing board because uh, you need to do it very quickly and it has to work as the first version revision, then you may want to look what your competition is using. I'm sure you understand. Okay, just don't forget about this. Tip number 34, have a look at what your competition is using. Why? In some cases, you may want to use exactly the same components because of software hardware compatibility. It may also help you to prevent possible problems. There may be a reason why they choose particular chips.